crew. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, shit. Feel at home? We found your notes quite interesting, Froat. And we'd like to ask you some questions, if that's all right. Be my guest. Good. Then I'll jump right in. Make sure you can swim. <laughs> yes, well. Let's start with this idea of light travel, shall we? What can you tell us about that? Absolutely nothing. If I told you, you'd blow yourselves up. Or worse, someone else. You'd be surprised how much energy is in a beam of light. <laughs> well then, uh, maybe you could show us how this light travel works. You mean a demonstration? That would be fine. Adios, aloha. When are you gonna? I'm already back. <laughs> See where I come from, Pro. That's called the fastest gun in the West routine. Well, I don't come from where you come from, Dr. Becker. Uh, Pro, you've indicated in your notes that your planet, Cape Hax, orbits around the twin stars Agape and Satori near the constellation Lyra. Well, frankly, we're a bit mystified as to how you gained knowledge of such a planetary system around these stars. Well, Professor, where I come from, that's common knowledge. This was taken from the Hubble. We've computer enhanced it based on Dr. Patel's readings from telescopes in Chile and Hawaii. It's the clearest picture we have of, of where you come from. And what we'd like is if you could diagram on the light pad the orbital pattern that your planet takes through this system. My pleasure. I think that's right. Stephen, could you input that? Already on it. What's going on? I take it my calculations help explain the perturbation as you've been seeing in the rotation pattern of your binary star, but have been unable to explain until this moment. How, how could you know this? How could you? Every Capaxian knows this. Just as every child on Earth knows that your planet revolves around your sun. It's common knowledge, isn't it? 